Hello and welcome. Let's play Europa Universalis 4 as Congo, trying to unlock the African Power achievement. So the last episodes we didn't have any commentary, but um, I, I hope, hopefully, commentary will be back for good. I have a new microphone set up. Hopefully, it won't fail me again. But. My issues uh, with the microphones are well known, if you, at least to me, and uh, if you're used to my videos. Unfortunately, I've been having lots of issues with the microphone. I may need to buy a new one, this time a, a really good microphone, because um, I've been experimenting with cheaper microphones to try to avoid spending that kind of money. I just spent around 400 euros in uh, a new graphics card and um, and a wireless headphones. So I just wanted to say that hopefully um, commentary will be back or good in my EU4 series. As usual, I'm a bit tired today, so... But if I don't play when I'm slightly tired, you'll never get videos from me, because that's... That's usually how I feel um, after work. Now, back to this series. We are now a protectorate of Spain. I am a protectorate because I want to reduce the, the tech costs, mostly because of that. Protectorates are also immune to, to coalitions. People don't uh, join coalitions if you are a protectorate. But for this uh, let's play, that's almost... Um, Meaningless, meaningless. Me, that means nothing, pretty much, because we are already very strong. So under the current patch uh, rules, if um, your enemies can are not strong enough, they won't join coalitions. Especially if we manage the truce timers very well, the, um, it's I doubt very much that we would get um, coalitioned in this game. Anyway, um, the most asked question on the comment section about uh, this campaign is why am I still a pagan and if I'm going to westernize or if I'm going to switch religion. So, I've, as, I've, as I've said before in the comment section, I'm going to remain pagan to make this more interesting for me, more challenging if we can, we can say that, because the alternatives Sunni gives us pretty powerful bonuses for morale and conversion strength. That would also forfeit the the Ottomans to chance of becoming the defender of the faith. So they would, would have less morale because I would be the defender of the faith. Not only I was would be boosting my own morale, but I would also prevent the Ottomans from getting that morale boost. I'm also trying to avoid westernization, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna westernize or westernize or not yet. Not sure yet, because if we move quickly, we can finish this campaign uh, um, early before this increased overtime modifier becomes too crippling. If this takes too long, I will be forced to westernize. Makes no sense not to westernize. So, but I think I can do this without westernization, and uh, it will also make this uh, slightly more challenging. Oh so yeah, let's let's go. I may westernize or I may not. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. It all depends how how quickly I can. Uh, Wrap this up or not. 
finish the, the war with these guys, I guess, because the troops are here. Next in line should be... I haven't played this for several days, so I don't exactly remember what I was doing. So we have a truce with Tunis until 1593, and um, we can now attack Ethiopia. Let's do so. By the way, you're allied with Doom. You're allied with these guys. That um, are only allied with Ethiopia. That's that's good. Let's uh, bump up the fleet maintenance. And uh, unpause. Hit three for a little while. Till I can see. Till I can get comfortable with this because, like I said, I don't play the, this campaign for several days. Probably uh, one week or so. We have some troops here. Let's go pick them up. We are waiting for. Um, points to core some of these provinces and it looks like we are having issues with rebellions because our ruler has very low legitimacy or low legitimacy so at this point until he gets to 50 until he has uh, 50 legitimacy we'll have uh, unrest more unrest because of that as his legitimacy goes up he will eventually decrease the unrest by two. We'll see. There. How many transports do we have? 47. We have 13. 13. 30. Uh, 32. 38. 48. 49. We don't have enough transports for everyone. Let's um, build some more. This uh, event keeps bugging us. Do I have it active at this point? Yes, so when will it end? August of uh, 97, so this can't stack, so let's uh, select that. Looks like the game really wants to give us a penalty regarding the... Um, regarding technology. I've changed my mind, I'm gonna um, use the troops that I have here to invade these guys quickly. You'll need lots of points to be able to core the provinces and finally unlock ad adaptability that will decrease the cost of um, of coring provinces. For, we will only spend, at least in Africa, we will only spend one point per one admin per development point. Can we fabricate more claims? Let's do so. You can fabricate more claims here. Yes, at least another two. I have a truce with you. We don't. Interesting. Well, I may... Um, I can't catch these guys. I, I, I um, force them to cancel their alliance with the Ottomans. I don't know if we are going to be able to fight them without um, having them... Um, without... Um, before they can renew that alliance, so... we, may, we might uh, simply attack Morocco and take um, only... and don't make these guys a co-belligerent. But that's for later. For now, let's focus on... Ethiopia and uh, its allies.
In the meantime, the war exhaustion is ticking down. As usual, we are having issues with rebellion. I could use another point of stability. If this ticks down, that should be enough for um, that rebellion to fade. Not, uh, not really, but uh, close. Okay, for now let's wait for um, let's wait for the water exhaustion to go down. And core these provinces. This is why I would love to have. Um, at this point, I would love to have offensive ideas, just like in my Ottoman campaign. If I enacted the. Um, policy, the um, Liberation Act, I would not be having these issues with rebellions and I would be doing what I like to do, which is to invade other countries and conquer them instead of fighting rebels. That's why I, I gave priority to humanist as, um, as um, my first admin idea group. Also because I could afford it, we had a discount of minus 50% from uh, be, these provinces being a colony and we now have an empire rank, so we have a 15% discount on core creation costs as uh, the Congo. Let's score these. I'm also waiting to unlock, like I said, adaptability after I unlock unlock adaptability I will probably prioritize the military tech. Talking about military tech, let's um, unlock this. Next month. For it, I'm also it reminds me that um, my plan is at, uh, for colonization at this point is to try to block the Europeans from this area and with major luck we might be able to block them off from South America completely but that uh, seems unlikely. We'll see. So we have better units. Let's, let's select them. Okay, maybe after the few more months, this will take down completely. Or if I boost the, the stab. Don't want, don't want to waste points on that. Let's send the guy over there. One more province and we'll block these guys from this area. Just lost um, one of our generals, this guy is so freaking crappy. Trying to not waste time, but... Um, But I guess I won't. I won't be able to do it. We are above our force limit by one. Okay, let's speed this up. I'm waiting for this to start ticking down before I, I grab more war exhaustion.
that's the case, let's reduce the army maintenance. Okay, we have our transports. Bring them over there. Okay, the core constructions are almost done, which means that this is gonna tick down sooner. Pump up the army maintenance. There we go. Just what I needed. Just what I bloody needed. I don't even have... This is going to affect the legitimacy that was going up. And uh, of course it's going to affect the unrest. But we may be lucky and... Um, this will only fire when we don't... When this ticks down to say 30 or so, or 40. Guess we'll have to see. Let's fabricate more claims. Whatever. soon won't have any rebel factions at this pace this event will block the entire screen Next expansion, we'll probably have another option, and so on and so forth. Go. And load these guys to the boats, and since um, Ethiopia is allied with um, with these guys, let me see. I've wasted too much time here, the Tunis will soon... Tunis will soon... A truce with Tunis will soon end. Okay, if they allied the Ottomans I will probably... I will probably declare on Morocco for now. Or unless, of course... The Ottomans get in serious trouble? We'll see. Let's go after Ethiopia. For now, these guys should back off a little bit. Guys, go over there. Hopefully you won't die. So this is uh, like expected, it's ticking up again. It's it's very expensive to boost stability because our religious unity sucks. Let's bring let's bring those guys to the um, Near the main fleet and the main army, or uh, actually.
actually sit tight because that's going to make me waste time. Make these guys co belligerent and go beat him up. I'm starting by Elodia first because um, he's the fort. This is not. Um, is not garrisoned. So let's try to unload the troops over there. If they decide to, if they decide, yeah, that's that's not gonna work. They're gonna suffer a bit of attrition here. Not a big deal. Let's go grab more troops. I'm waiting for points to be able to boost stab the stability. We are facing 26, 30,000 troops. Should be, should have better tech. Yes, but not by much. I think it's time for me to take a break. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you soon. Take care.